guys, this is Hop Curious, and this is Sampler Wednesdays. This Wednesday we have what's called a Dugis? Dugis? Two Dugis? Teach me how to Dugis. Dugis? Teach me how to Dugis. Teach me how to Dugis. Coffee Vanilla Black. This is a Imperial style brew with vanilla and coffee. Woo! So let's go in for that smell. Smell a la la la. Oh my goodness. Okay. So that's coffee. Let's go. Cafe Noir, take notes. Okay, this is definitely like literally really good. Apple coffee. I get chocolate and this is a coffee. Beer. Yeah. Some cinnamon. Oh my god. Oh. Almost like an ancho. Like an ancho coffee smell. Yeah. Okay, well, in the past we've made an ancho chili what's, what's ancho? coffee stout. Uh, it's a very chili. mellow or mild pepper, I should say. That's, That's been, been Smoked, smoked, right? Well, no. it's been dry. It's been dry. But it does have smoky quality. Well, it's like typically, I oh, guess, yeah. I mean, I guess, yeah, technically. It's smoked to get dry. Technically, dried, right? it's smoked to get, or what do you call that, dehydrated? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's dried. Which, which back in the day, the way they that's did how it, you do it, how you do tobacco leaves is the same way as you do it in a smokehouse. Yeah. So that's how you did your chilies back in the day. Which is technically how an ancho chili should be. It should be a smoked chili. Smoked dried chili, that then you kind of rehydrate. But. It's just smell. It smells like latte to me. I mean, this smells like some sort of. It says cool. serve black, but serve it black. Oh, vanilla. There's vanilla and coffee. Essence. Why do you want to add a little bit of almond milk to this? I would cut you. <laughs> <laughs> How about a cherry? I'd cut you even more. I cut you even more. <laughs> I mean, I'll just go right off the bat. Oh, wow. Coffee smell. I mean, like, coffee yes. is very dominant. And I don't like coffee, yeah, but that's like. Been, I love the smell of coffee, though. Actually, I got, I got a question that would happen before we even taste Off the this. smell, okay. Off the smell. <laughs> what would you wish it smelled like? Do you wish there was something else you could add to this to make it smell like. If it had just this one thing, like, oh my goodness, I would be in like umami heaven. Like, I'd be in that dank space. Right? Great word. I almost, yeah. I almost want to say more alcohol to counteract the sweetness, but it's already 13%. So okay. I can't wait to try it. So you guys answer. <laughs> try it. I have no answer. <laughs> Go ahead. More coffee. <laughs> wow. Okay, like, more coffee. I think there should be coffee grounds per bottle. As, as a settlement in the bottle, more coffee grounds. Trapped at the bottom. Yeah. Trapped at the bottom instead of like the yeast. Yeah, yeah. Like, instead of the yeast, the true straight, bottle. like every time they bottle, a little bit of coffee grounds, like. Okay. Thing. What about you, Kamal? If you can make it smell like anything. Uh, I was, was going to say a little more coffee. Join. <laughs> more like, coffee. Like uh, <laughs> a certain coffee bean that might be like more aromatic. That, like, okay. Because like yes. it does, it smells. It's our. It's already really pretty, strongly with coffee, but more. It it could smell more. All right, all right. I guess for myself, I actually would go with. I want to go with chocolate. Um, I would really. And I mean, I guess because you know I'm not a coffee drinker. Oh, vanilla. Um, vanilla. But yeah, the vanilla bean, and I think you know adding chocolate to it and like the smell would balance it. Well, like I'm kind of like picturing like a hot chocolate with like a little bit of coffee. You know, in it, and I guess because like you know, I don't drink coffee, and I you know I don't usually like have a craving for it. So I guess if I'm gonna go for it, like that would be I want it more like the creamy side, I guess, yeah, than for sure. the coffee side. Can mm -hmm. I change my answer? Yes. Cocoa pebbles and a spoon. <laughs> All right. All right. Cocoa Great pebbles. answer. Cocoa pebbles. I would eat cereal out of this. Great beer. answer. Cocoa pebbles in a spoon, that would be Chocolate to, to smell to smell that. I love it. Yeah. Again, yes. That's just, it's like the milk from the cocoa so pebbles. Like there's no wrong answer. answer. No. And we haven't even tasted no. this beer yet. I know. Let's go for the taste. Let's go for the taste. Mmm. Mmm. That's oh yeah. Ooh, that's thick like cough syrup. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. Oh wow! It's so good. It smells like it tastes. That is literally. Yeah. That is way more motor oily than some of, <laughs> the, some of the other things we had tonight. Yeah. It's so, so good. It's really a lot more really thick. Coffee. It's our fifth taste. Yeah. By the way. I would bathe. Why this video so funny? I'd wash my and then hair. And myself up. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd bathe in it. 
Yeah. Like, that one's, like, you can actually taste the coffee. Like, like it's there. Like, it's... I think they picked a solid... I mean, I'm surprised too, it like, actually isn't coffee, so coffee, coffee grounds. It's, like, here. really, really there. Like, like it's... The aftertaste is all coffee. Like, all yeah. I'm tasting right now is, like, pure coffee. Pure coffee. But what I would say is, like, I think if, like, if I had chocolate with that, I'd be actually really, really happy with this beer. Yeah. I mean, not that I'm not happy with this. Just make it that much better. It'd make it that much better for me. And I think, what is it, 13%? For oh, my goodness. You can't even tell it's 13% right now. <laughs> so no, 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 no. I thought it was going to be like 7. What would be the absolute perfect situation in life that you would want to be in while enjoying this beverage? I don't think I can say that out loud. Hot tub. Filled with milk. Cocoa Pebbles. Sunday cartoons. Are you, are you eating from the hot... Are you sitting in your living room in a hot tub with oh. Cocoa Pebbles? And I got a are couple you... of these bottles around me. It's like floating you... in the tub. Getting warm. <laughs> oh, oh, shit, you're right. All you see is a snorkel. Are you pointing the beer and getting the snorkel part? Is that... It's like I'll go under and just drink from the snorkel. It's, <laughs> it's not how those work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so snorkeling and hot Cocoa Pebbles. Okay, great. Hot Cocoa Pebbles. What was the question? <laughs> In what situation, just uh, in life, would you enjoy this beer? At my master's graduation. Oh, like uh, when you're walking on stage? Exactly, just like Pull out from your row. having this beer. Just... After you get the diploma. Thank you, ma'am or sir. <laughs> <laughs> I think so just like as soon as you grab cheers it. Cheers to the whole audience of other master's students. For myself, this is cool. like this is like the... Uh, Man, I've totally found the one, finally. Oh my god. And the one coffee beer? Oh, the one, the one. Wait, and we're, we're in bed, and I'm like, hey, I got something for you. Now lean over, and right then my nightstand's a mini fridge. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> boom! Crack open. Don't worry, this will wake us up. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And then we sit there and... Yep, this one's for you. <laughs> cigars all night. Cigars all night. This is Bazooka Joe cigar. <laughs> <laughs> so, what would you guys rate this beer? Oh, that's hard. Ooh, that's hard. I'm in between a four and a five on this one. So, like, obviously five, that's like buying, like, a mass quantity of this. Let's do it. Um, but the four, man, like, dude, if I saw this at a bar, like, that's like... I would buy it. Fuck whoa! It. Like, okay, like, let me mess with that. 13%. You know what I mean? Like, 13% yeah. is like... I mean, maybe I'm an ABV chaser. Well, I mean, for a 13, it, but... I, I wouldn't think it's like, oh, the shit's a 13. Like, oh. No, you don't. Oh, yeah, but, yeah. but you would see that and you're like, oh, I'm going to try that 13% beer, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, like, I'm at, oh, it's hard, yeah. I'm going to go four. I'm going to go four. I'm at a four. I'm going to buy this at a bar. It'd be really hard to buy this in mass quantity, but if I bought it at a bar and it came in something like this or whatever, or I took it home and, like I said, that was my special occasion, like, that would be it, but I wouldn't want to buy anything more than that size bottle. I'm gonna have to join Charlie on this uh, number. I would be a four. Uh, I would buy this at a bar. Uh, it's good, but I it's not like so good that I would buy you know a whole like a keg of it or something. Um, so. Yeah. Bob, well, I'm at five all day. I'm so glad I got to try this bottle, and this is really surprising. Hit all the good spots. We got to laugh and joke about it, like reminiscing of the like yes golden years when you're a little kid, like <laughs> not drinking beer, but I mean like it takes back <laughs> to those simpler times where everything was just nice and easy and like yeah like definitely recommend it to a friend, but I want to find more now, buy more, have more on hand to it's share like with everybody with the beer as they come around. So five, it's five. Nice. He's the only one with a beard because he drank beer as a kid. 
<laughs> I told true. you to put hair on your chest and on your face. Apparently. So for me, I would definitely. <laughs> until college. I would rate this a five. I would buy this in all formats. Give me all of it. I think this coffee beer is so fucking good. Thank you.